Hello everyone. I hope your day has gone well so far. It is Tuesday, April 7th, as we continue to make our journey towards towards uh, Easter Sunday and before that the cross of Good Friday. Today we'll have another simple service of prayer and reading and uh, and some song. So I hope you enjoy. We start with a song again from our Taze book called Come and Fill. Come and fill our hearts with your peace. You alone, O Lord, are holy. Come and fill our hearts with your peace. Amen. Come and fill our hearts with your peace. You alone, O Lord, are holy. Come and fill our hearts with your peace. Amen. Come and fill our hearts with your peace. You alone, O Lord, are holy. Come and fill our hearts with your peace. Amen. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you have called us to follow you. Grant that our love may not grow cold in your service, and that we may not fail or deny you in the time of trial. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We sing song number nine, Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, my soul, and bless God's holy name. Bless the Lord, my soul, who leads me into life. Bless the Lord, my soul, and bless God's holy name. Bless the Lord, my soul, who leads me into life. Bless the Lord, my soul, and bless God's holy name. Bless the Lord, my soul, who leads me into life. A reading from Isaiah, chapter 49. Listen to me, O coastlands, and pay attention, you peoples from far away. The Lord called me before I was born. While I was in my mother's womb, he named me. He made my mouth like a sharp sword. In the shadow of his hand, he hid me. He made me a polished darrow. In his quiver, he hid me away. And he said to me, You are my servant. Israel, in whom I will be glorified. But I said, I have labored in vain, I have spent my strength for nothing in vanity, yet surely my cause is with the Lord, my, and my reward with my God. And now the Lord says, who formed me in the womb to be his servant, to bring Jacob back to him, and that Israel might be gathered to him, for I am honored in the sight of the Lord, and my God has become my strength. He says, it is it is too light a thing that you should be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and to restore the survivors of Israel. I will give you as a light to the nations that my salvation may reach to the end of the earth. Thus says the Lord, the Redeemer of Israel and his Holy One, to one deeply despised, abhorred by the nations, the slave of rulers. Kings shall see and stand up, princes and they shall prostrate themselves because of the Lord who is faithful, the Holy One of Israel who has chosen you. A reading from Psalm 71. In you, O Lord, I take refuge, that we never be put to shame. In your righteousness deliver me and rescue me. Incline your ear to me and save me. Be to me like a rock of refuge, a strong fortress to save me, for you are my rock and my fortress. Restore me, O my God, from the hand of the wicked, from the grasp of the unjust and cruel. For you, O Lord, are my hope, my trust, O Lord, from my youth. 
Upon you I have learned from my birth. It was you who took me from my mother's womb. My praise is continually to of you. I have been like a portent to many, but you are my strong refuge. My mouth is filled with your praise and with your glory all day long. Do not cast me off in the time of old age. Do not forsake me when my strength is past. For my enemies speak concerning me, and those who watch for my life consult together. They say, Pursue and seize that person whom God has forsaken, for there is no one to deliver. O God, do not be far from me. O God, make haste to help me. Let my accusers be put to shame and consumed. Let those who seek to hurt me be covered with scorn and disgrace. But I will hope continually and will praise you yet more and more. And a reading from 1 Corinthians chapter 1. For the message about the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to those who are being saved is the power of God. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise, and the discernment of the discerning I will thwart. Where is the one who is wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the debater of this age? Has not God made foolish the wisdom of the world? For since in the wisdom of God the world did not know God through wisdom, God decided through the foolishness of our proclamation to save those who believe. For Jews demand signs and Greeks desire wisdom, but we proclaim Christ crucified, a stumbling block to Jews and foolishness to Gentiles. But to those who are the called, both Jews and Greeks, Christ, the power of God, and the wisdom of God. For God's foolishness is wiser than human wisdom, and God's weakness is stronger than human strength. Consider your own, brothers and sisters. Not many of you were wise by human standards. Not many were powerful. Not many were of noble birth. But God chose what is foolish in the world to shame the wise. God chose what is weak in the world to shame the strong. God chose what is low and despised in the world, things that are not yet, to reduce to things that are, so that no one may boast in the presence of God. He is the source of your life in Christ Jesus, who became for us wisdom from God and righteousness and sanctification and redemption, in order that, as it is written, let the one who boasts, boast in the Lord. We sing now song 21 of our Taze book. Stay with us, O Lord Jesus Christ, night will soon fall. Then stay with us, O Lord Jesus Christ, light in our darkness. Stay with us, O Lord Jesus Christ, night will soon fall. Then stay with us, O Lord Jesus Christ, light in our darkness. Stay with us, O Lord Jesus Christ, night will soon fall. Then stay with us, O Lord Jesus Christ, light in our darkness. Our Gospel reading is from John, the 12th chapter. Now among those who went up to worship at the festival were some Greeks. They came to Philip, who was from Bethsaida in Galilee, and said to him, Sir, we wish to see Jesus. Philip went and told Andrew, then Andrew and Philip went and told Jesus. Jesus answered them, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Very truly I tell you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains just a single grain, but if it dies, it bears much fruit. Those who love their life lose it, and those who hate their life in this world will keep it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there will my servants be also. Whoever serves me, the Father will honor. Now my soul is troubled, and what should I say? Father, save me from this hour? No, it is for this reason that I have come to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven, I have glorified it, and I will glorify it again. The crowd standing there heard it, 
and said that it was thunder. Others said an angel has spoken to him. Jesus answered, The voice has come for your sake, not for mine. Now is the judgment of this world. Now the ruler of this world will be driven out. And I, when I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all people to myself. He said this to indicate the kind of death he was to die. The crowd answered him, We have heard from the law that the Messiah remains forever. How can you say that the Son of Man must be lifted up? Who is this Son of Man? Jesus said to them, The light is with you for a little longer. Walk while you have the light, so that the darkness may not overtake you. If you walk in the darkness, you do not know where you are going. While you have the light, believe in the light, so that you may become children of light. After Jesus had said this, he departed, and he hid from them. We'll now continue with our prayers. O Lord, hear my prayer. O Lord, hear my prayer. When I call, answer me. O Lord, hear my prayer. O Lord, hear my prayer. Come and listen to me. The Lord is my song, the Lord is my praise. All my hope comes from God. The Lord is my song, the Lord is my praise. God, the wellspring of life. Let us pray. O God, in this ever-troubled time, we pray that you continue to walk with us. That in our times of doubt, in our times of uncertainty, in our times when we feel this is just all way too much, that you would help to lift us up out of that pit of despair and bring us back into your light. May we walk ever knowing that you are there beside us, and that when we do fall, or when we do sink to our knees because we can't go any further, you are there to pick us up and carry us and to bring us home. We pray again today for all those who are serving us in their professions and careers, and those frontline workers who do so much for each of us. Help us to do our own part in all of this, even if all it means is just staying put. Help us to serve the other in what we do. Help us to be calm and not let panic or frustration set in. Rather, help us to know that we are all working together. As we approach this Holy Week, O Lord, as we approach a time of great sorrow in the coming of the cross, help us to know too that that sorrow was transformed into the greatest joy for the power of the cross was emptied it was instead made into an instrument of life. The tomb, too, was emptied. Not a resting place for the dead any longer, but an empty tomb which showed us that in you, life and love always conquer. May the hope of this season drive us forward. May we always know that hope in our lives. And so we pray in Jesus' holy name. O Lord, hear my prayer, O Lord, hear my prayer, when I call, answer me. O Lord, hear my prayer, O Lord, hear my prayer, come and listen to me. The Lord is my song, the Lord is my praise. All my hope comes from God. The Lord is my song, the Lord is my praise. God, the wellspring of life. Receive the blessing. Almighty God, who raised our Lord Jesus from death, lift you up and restore you to wholeness. 
Jesus Christ, the word of life, bless you and send you to be his witnesses. God, the Holy Spirit, who renews the whole earth, refresh you in the gift of baptism this day and always. Amen. We sing number 12 in our Taze book. Wait for the Lord whose day is near. Wait for the Lord, be strong, take heart. Wait for the Lord whose day is near. Wait for the Lord, be strong, take heart. Wait for the Lord whose day is near. Wait for the Lord, be strong, take heart. Marked with the cross of Christ, go forth to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen.